The central power supplies for the whole flat. Yes, it's looking so freaking good and clean. No more nasty cable, no trip wire. Is the best thing ever. <laughs> Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog, freaking mic placement. It is Wednesday, another day, another chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is another short flat update, so let's get it. By the way, all the home improvement vlogs right here, watch them all, but before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max, so let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Yes, I finally did it. I installed the central power supplies. I was talking about this for a very long time. I was talking about this since I started or since I finished this NFC door lock project. Safety shoes right there. Up until very recently, I had a cable from here to there to this power outlet right here. And now, as you can see, it's gone. And instead, I have this. The central power supplies for the whole flat. Well, for now, it's only for this room. And yes, the floor is still a mess. I didn't vlog the build because this was in the period where I was like not feeling like doing anything, especially not vlogging. And I also was pushing this project ahead of me for good three months or something like that. But when I finally did it, it was actually fairly easy. First of all, I removed this wall socket right here. Then I drilled a hole right here. Then I inserted three cables, the two leads and the earth. Then I hooked the cables together, hooked the wall socket back up, put it all back together. And I had three cables coming out of this hole right here. Then I thought about how to mount these power supplies to the wall and I decided to just duct tape it to a metal plate and then just one screw up here, one screw down here. Same for the other one. No overkill this time. And then it was all about hooking it all up. Now let's see if I can get under there. Yeah, kinda. So that was the nastiest part actually. Ah, oh, that was useless. Well, not really nasty. It was a bit cumbersome though. Actually, let me just detach the gimbal and I can give you a better close up. Okay, so this is how I wired it basically. Plus and minus is this white cable basically and then the three cables come in out of this hole to the first inputs and then I put one cable on the on each side basically and then I went to the other one same same yeah, and then I drilled two holes through these already installed cable canals last vlog right here and down here I use these little little clamps right there these little clamps working perfectly fine that was easy and then the rest of the, well, the 12 volt lead is this white cable all the way, this thick white cable and the five volt, well, this is actually six volts. Oh my goodness, it's eight volts for the Arduino. It's using this rather thin red and black cable. They do make a slight noise. Can you hear it? It's really not too bad though. And then, well, I went from this all the way, all the way, all the way around the door frame, down, down here. And then I drilled a hole, another hole right here. I just had to unplug the plugs. Well, I used these clamps as I showed you before, the same clamps to connect these wires. And yes, it's looking so freaking good and clean. No more nasty cable, no trip wire. I wrapped this one in this transparent wrap, cable wrap thingy. This is amazing. The same wrap that I used for these wires up here. This is also new, by the way. It's looking so much nicer. Yeah, and then I went like a meter or something like that further in this direction. And it's the wiring so far. All the rest, all the rest of the cable canals, they're still empty. Plus one, by the way. Stupid kids, man. Oh yeah, that was a hella successful project and I'm really proud of the outcome. As I said, it was fairly easy and this will also enable me to finally continue with this project because as I said, this is only part one of the door opening mechanism. Part two will be another Arduino that will open up the door downstairs. And the plan for this in a nutshell is that I can basically ring a code downstairs and then it will open up the door so that I don't need a key. I think I'm already using this mechanism for three, four, five months, maybe half a year. Cheapest parts that I was able to find still working, no issue whatsoever. So yeah, 
amazing. He's the best thing ever. <laughs> but yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way I can't smash myself any longer by tripping over this wire. Then you like to never miss home improvement vlogs. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.